So for this video, um, it's really going to be talking about a very interesting wiki material that has just come out, and that would be the Fiber Freaks N2 or whatever it was called. So the Fiber Freaks N2 is this like weird cellulose, lyocell, whatever, something like that, wood, and it comes out looking a bit like cotton, comes in a little package like this. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to go over really quickly something about temperature control. So with temperature control, there's devices that control the energy or the wattage or the joules that come out to meet that temperature that we're shooting for. So um, devices like the Snow Wolf, the Snow Wolf 200 watt, the uh, Heartbeat 40, the DNA 40 chips, and the SMY, SMY uh, 60, 50 watt are examples of temperature control devices out there. Um, However, not all of them are created equally. I'm just going to go over really quickly and show you guys that. So first up, a quick test. Um, in here, this is the sauce code. You guys already did some of review on this. And right now I have the Vapor Shark Atlantis Nickel Core Heads in here. And I have it running in my uh, Snow Wolf 200 watt. And it's going to be vaping at 450 degrees, about 49 watts or so. So as you guys can see there, it, it produces a decent amount of clouds, and on top of that, the flavor, the flavor out of this thing is just way out of control. It's much better than using the sauce code nickel, uh, nickel, the sauce code coil heads that they come with, the Atlantis coil heads, the point three and the point fives. I haven't tried the Heracles coil heads yet, but this has been a very, very outstanding flavor coming out of this tank. So. With this tank, I'm going to be comparing it to the Snow Wolf. I'm going to be comparing the Nickel Coins and Snow Wolf. And then I'm going to compare it to the briefcase over here, which you do not control the, um, the wattage or the joules of whatever that temperature is. Whatever temperature you set it at, it's going to be at that temperature. So like 450 degrees, I'm going to set this thing to 450 degrees just like this guy. And you're going to see the difference in the vape quality that comes out. Alrighty, so I've let the soft code cool because uh, you know that's how you have to do it with nickel coils. You have to have a cooled RDA or tank or whatever before you pop it back on onto something new so that the, uh, the temperature readings are not off. So this thing is now cool for a bit. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this on the uh, briefcase. It's going to ask me a new atomizer, so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And I'm going to have it set to 450 degrees just like this guy. But you're going to see the difference in the vape quality that comes out. Whatever gets there. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to 550 watts, see what I can get out of this. Just like that. Um, the difference is being that this guy, the uh, the SMY, does not preheat the coils. One, two, it does not cap out at the wattage that you send it to. So, contrary to the Snow Wolf over here, like if I have this set to cap out at 50 watts, it's going to try to stay close to that 50 watt range. This, I'm holding this guy down. It's going anywhere between 380 degrees, 390 degrees, and 29 watts. Uh, yeah, that's that's really it. It does not does not get any does not get any higher than that. And I have this thing set to cap out at 550 watts. So I just wanted to go over that really quickly just to uh, kind of give you a heads up. Uh, keep an eye out for those devices that control the joules and the wattage when you're in temperature control mode because it does give you one crazy flavor experience out of these guys. So with that being said, let's get into the main part about this video. And this video is going to be about the, uh, the Fiber Freaks Fiber Freaks Density N2 Cotton Cellulose Wick thing. 
Um, and it's selling for $5.99 on Vapor DNA's website. And they're claiming that each of the sauce code coils are built with these guys. So here it is right here. I'm going to show you a little bit more up in the up close. I'm going to be comparing it in this video to Samurai Cotton, right? This guy right here. It's my favorite uh, Japanese organic cotton that I like to work with. I get the, the uh, my best um, flavor slash clouds with it. Um, but I'm going to, as before, I got the other Fiber Freaks density N2, so I'm going to go ahead and compare them to the, to, uh, to the both of them. Well, whatever, you get that. Alrighty, so this is the packaging that the... Uh, the Fiber Freaks comes in. This guy right here. You can see right there it says Mecha de Cellulose, Cellulose Wick, Density N2, Made by Vapors for Vapors. And on the back it's in French, and then it switches to English down at the bottom. And I can't read what this says, but I'm obviously going to assume that this is what this is down here. And it says Fiber Freaks was created following the research and hard work of a theme of team of enthusiastic vapors. We selected safe and environmentally friend cellulose fibers chosen for its exceptional capability. Capillarity. Capillarity. What does that even mean? Um, the Fire Freaks Wick releases authentic and long-lasting flavors designed for the specific needs of vapors and available in several densities to suit your taste. The Fire Freaks Wick is mechanically processed before being sterilized and packaged and packed in airtight bags to ensure optimal preservation. Fiberfreaks.com. So it's this guy right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell it looks a little too bright. Let me see if I can change it out a little bit. There we go. Right light, right, there we go. So you can see that it looks a little a little bit different from your uh, regular con and it's very, very thin. I'm gonna assume it refers to the density that this one is made with and it's density 2. I can't say what the other densities feel like because I have never ever well I've never used it I never bought it yet but it feels interesting it kind of feels like like having a bunch of foam in your hands packed together and very loose feeling but at the same time it feels like cotton. Does that make sense? Like if you ever get just foam and then you just try squeezing it in your hands and you just feel that weird Feeling. I don't know. Can you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's that's what happens when I go like this to it. It feels interesting. And uh, it feels like cotton too at the same time. And uh, from what I've experienced, I, I went ahead and tested this for three days alongside the Samurai Cotton, which is this guy right over here, Samurai Cotton which is just regular Japanese organic cotton and you guys probably already know what this feels like and you guys probably used it before or whatever but much less uh, much less foamy feeling anyway so I actually go, gave, uh, went ahead and spent three days with this guy and switching back and forth between the uh, Japanese organic and this guy and I've determined to me at least whether or not the flavor or the cloud, if there's any difference in between the two. So I'm going to bring it back to um, the regular view that we had, and I'm going to actually use it on the Snow Wolf in this uh, big block, 4, 454 big block. And I'm going to show you if there's any difference as far as flavor. I'm going to use a different atomizer for seeing if there's a difference in the cloud and for that I'm most likely going to be using the Dragon RDA this guy right here I'm going to be using this guy to uh, show you guys the difference in the clouds and I'm going to be using the 454 big block to show you the difference in flame alright so really quickly before I go any further um, I'm just going to show you guys a difference in how much of each strip I'm going to use for the Fiber Freaks I'm going to use this much Right around here, I'm probably going to be using this part right up here. Let's go ahead. I went ahead and cut two very similar pieces. There you go. And however, with the regular Japanese organic cotton, I'm going to be using a much thinner, um, much thinner wick. Mostly because this stuff is just really thin. They don't pack it down as much as they did that. So, just going to give you a heads up. 
Alrighty, so I got the uh, the fire freaks all wicked up and ready to go in this guy. Well, not juiced up yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the same flavor for both. It's gonna be Mr. JCVH 21 questions, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let you know what I experienced from it. Uh, the build that I have in here is a two millimeter, I believe, two millimeter diameter um, screwdriver that I used. And I use regular 24 gauge cantho, uh, about six wraps each. There we go, all juiced up. So, for my testing on this guy, let's see where we can gonna bring up the wattage a little bit. Bring up this. Alrighty, so uh, I have the Fire Freaks density N2. Uh, wick in this guy right here in the 454 big block beeping at about 60 watts 3.71 volts to a 0.3 ohm uh, dual coil in here. We got the measurement we're also going to be using the, uh, the same juice for, for regular con and for uh, wicking uh, for whatever this is. Wood. Let's go with wood. I think that's the easiest way to uh, explain it because on the website it does say Lyocell or whatever wood. Lyocell? Cellulose wick. Let's just go with cellulose wood or lyocell wood, whatever. And from what I can tell, this this seems to kind of hold slightly more juice than a uh, than a regular Samurai Cotton that I've been using kind of does. Maybe just a little bit more juice, not like crazy amounts. <clears throat> so, from the testing that I did, I did one full day of, of um, this Fiber Freaks. And then one full day of Samurai Cotton, and I used the same atomizer with the same foils and all that other jazz. I gotta say that the flavor that comes out of the Fire Freaks is not a lot better, but it is better than regular cotton. However, the problem that I've had with the Fire Freaks is that, to me, it doesn't last as long as regular cotton did. About a day and a half, and I started to get this weird taste. Not like a... Uh, not like a disgusting taste or anything, but definitely was not the flavor that I was vaping. Uh, it might have been dry hits, and that's what I'm thinking it was. But at the same time, it didn't feel like dry hits. Does that make sense? I know I'm saying that a lot because uh, this is just a, a weird, weird, um, weird wicking material, and I don't exactly know how to explain it correctly. But it kind of gave out to me about halfway through my second work day, I mean my, my first day, and um, I had to re-wick it just because it had that weird taste to it, and it felt like a dry hit, you know, you got that little kind of tinge in the back of your throat, and you know, after that, I'm like, alright, I, I guess it's dry, and I look at the, uh, the wick, and it, it still looks pretty wet, so I go ahead and pull it out, there's nothing, there's no, there's no burn marks or anything on the uh, on the wick or anything so I don't think it was a dry hit. I, I have no idea what it was to be honest with you. Um, I, I can't tell you. I have zero clue what it was. Uh, but it definitely was interesting. Alright, it's starting to get a little cloudy in my room here a little bit. Um, but now I've got the Samurai Cotton in the same build and the same Addy on the same wattage and everything. I'm going to keep everything the same except I'm using Samurai Cotton. So give me a second. This is a fresh cotton, so there we go, there we go. There we go, nice and wet. There we go. Nice and So yeah, the the flavor is definitely a a little bit uh, a little bit more muted this way. I don't know what it can do to be honest with you. Holy 
grab this guy already. Woo. Jesus Christ. Might have uh might have packed too much in. Holy crap, it is foggy in here. Um, <laughs> but flavor is slightly muted. But what I'm going to say is that Samurai Cotton lasts longer than the Fire Freaks from my experience. So you don't have to go around re-wicking uh, like I had to. So for me, I, I'm, a, I'm a flavor chaser. So this was a good buy for me. So if you're a flavor chaser, I highly recommend giving this guy a shot. I mean, it's only $5.99 for a pack, and you get plenty of it. You get plenty of this stuff. I mean, there's like, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and I've already gone through about 2 or 3 pads of those things. Um, so, you get a lot of it for $5.99. So, definitely worth it if you're a flavor chaser. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now what it is with Cloud Chasing. I'm going to go ahead and use the Cloud Sonic. For those of you guys who don't know what the Cloud Sonic is, it is this RDA right here. A um, lot of post holes. Not, not a lot of post holes. A lot of air holes. I mean, you got like one, two, three, four, five, six, six holes to work with. Uh, and in this guy, I am rocking a, a, uh, a dual parallel build. And I believe this was 24, 24 gauge micro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wick this guy with, I'll grab that battery. I'm going to go ahead and wick this guy with the, the Fire Freaks. Then I'm going to wick it again with the uh, Samurai Cotton. Alrighty, I was originally going to do this with the Snow Wolf. However, I changed my mind and again instead of using. Uh, Instead of using the Dragon RDA, I'm actually going to use the Cloud Sonic, and I'm also going to use the Excalibur um, mod with a fresh Sony BTC4 in it. <laughs> well, close to fresh. So, there you go. And again, this is the uh, Fiber Freaks first. There you go. Holy crap, it's hot. I wonder if there's too much nicotine in that. Hang on. Yeah, that nicotine hurts. Yeah, it does. I'm just gonna have, uh, change the uh, change the flavor then. There you go. And I'm gonna switch to uh, Dream Eater from a company called uh, Cloud Chaser from MakeUpVaporShop.com. It's one of their house juices, and this is zero nicotine, so hopefully. It will not hurt me. Here we go, here we go. I'm not really what I want to use. I want to use my more milkier flavors, but I can't find metronome from the same company, so. Oh my god! <laughs> And this is the exact same problem that I had during my testing. I was hoping it'd be different when I wasn't testing. Maybe it's just my build. Maybe my build is too hot. It is a 24 gauge nichrome. Maybe like 24 gauge canthal or just not parallel nichrome would work better. But it does not keep up with my cloud chasing builds. Um, it doesn't wick fast enough at least. I can get about that much before it dries out on me. Because this wick, this wick is still wet. And from, oh my god, that, that hurt. Holy crap. Woo. Go ahead and re-wick this. 
see if I get a different result. I mean, I'm, I'm basically flooding the coils at this point. To see if that changes anything. Holy crap, it's going to be a lot of gurgling. This is going to hurt. I do this for you guys. You guys better love me. Okay, that helped. But now I got a mouthful of juice. Does not keep up. It's dry again. I got that dry hit again. Like at first, it's nice and nice and smooth, but then it just gets so harsh towards the end of that. I'm gonna get and cut this here. I'm gonna put on um, Samurai Con. So really quickly, just to show you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, let me turn off autofocus. There we go. Not me. The coil, you think? But yeah. There you go. You can see that the uh, this wick is still really, really wet. But I was still getting those dry hairs. I just pulled it off um, just to re-wick and see how the cotton looks. And uh, goddamn, it's it was just just not keeping up at all. <clears throat> that was a fresh wick too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. You can see right there. There is a little bit of uh, charring. A little bit. So, I'm gonna switch back to uh, the Samurai Cop now. Alrighty, so, got the regular Samurai Cotton in here now. Using the same juice, same setup. I took three hits, or like, what was it, like four or five hits, uh, out of this battery, so it's still pretty fresh. I'll go ahead and just wick this nice. There you go. There we go. Let's pop this top cap back on. And we're gonna see how this performs. Just so you guys know, I'm covered in juice. All this wicking and unwicking and re-wicking and unwicking is just covering me in juice right now. So with that, I could take a much longer hit before it start getting dry on me. That did hurt a little bit. Uh, my build is just way too hot. Goddamn. But. But I can stand to take longer hits. So for cloud chasing, I do not think, or in my opinion, uh, Fiber Freaks is not built for cloud chasing. Alright, so that ends my video. Um, Goddamn, that, that, that still hurts, man. Um, but if you guys are interested in that thing, Especially for uh, flavor chasers out there, please definitely give this a try. Um, it's only five dollars ninety nine cents, and I got mine from Vapor DNA, uh, just like the rest of the stuff that I own. Seriously, like half this, ninety percent of the stuff I have here is from Vapor DNA. It's just crazy. But five dollars ninety nine cents, give it a shot. Uh, if you're a cloud chaser, I mean, give it a shot too. Maybe it was just my experience. Maybe I'm just you know, I'm not really that big of a cloud chaser. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am a flavor chaser to the T, and this just, it just performs so well for flavor chasing, and I suck at cloud chasing. So maybe it was me. Um, so give it a shot too. Let me know how it, how it affects you guys. How it, uh, how this thing works for you. And uh, if you have any questions on it, you know, leave a comment down there. I'll see if I can do a, a follow-up video on it. Show you guys some more about it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe.